It has now been a couple of days since the Tech Kaylin Khalifa banner has dropped on Global. And now it is time to ask that age old question, which unit should you buy with your red coins? Keep in mind, these red coins are very hard to come by. So when you pick and choose these units, you wanna be doing so with a lot of thought going into it because it's gonna take a while for you to accumulate the coins needed to summon or buy these units again. As you can see right here, it takes one coin for every five stones used. So basically one coin per single, which means for 400 coins, you'd have to spend 2000 dragon stones AKA 40 multis, 40 full priced multis. That's a lot of multis. If you're a whale, not so much, but if you're a normal player, that's a lot. So be very careful when you're selecting which unit to buy. Also keep in mind, only do so after you are done summoning. I can't stress that enough because the worst thing that could happen is you buy a unit with those hard earned coins. You then go in with one more multi. What's, what's the worst that could happen? And then you pull the unit that you just bought. Boom, 400 coins down the drain. So definitely, definitely wait until you finish summoning and then look into actually purchasing the unit. Now, in terms of my short answer and my long answer, I will tell you those in just a second. Keep in mind, folks, this is an opinion-based video, so if you guys agree or disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. It is totally fine for us to have differing opinions, just as long as we're respectful about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Short answer, who should you buy with your red coins? Short answer is none of them. Do not buy any of them. If you are me, I, well, number one, I have them all rainbowed. But number two, you definitely shouldn't be buying anything right now because of how much value and savings and hype that is on the horizon on the upcoming banners. Number two, in terms of selection, this is probably some of the worst units to choose from in terms of a selection. Not because they're bad individually. Some of them are a little bit less effective than others. But overall, there are other units that can offer so much more that if they were here, it would tremendously boost the value of the lineup. Videl is really good on paper. Stacks like crazy, can do a lot of damage. However, the leader skill, kind of a lackluster leader skill ability. Peppy Gals are such a dominant category already with the select units that are already there. You don't even really need the Videl. Number two, the Defender of Justice category is so irrelevant because there are so many other categories that are hidden within it that you don't really need the Defender of Justice moniker to actually run a team. You could just throw Videl onto a Majin Buu Saga team, which is probably where she's best suited because that way she can get most of her links with Hercule and actually get the full potential of her passive out of there. But other than that, Videl isn't a must-have. She's flashy, she's meant to look good because she's an obscure unit, but not somebody you have to have. Kefla became obsolete the second that this banner came out, which is hilarious, because everything that this Kefla can do, the tech version can do better, as proven also in my video. And she was never a good unit to begin with. One of the lesser Dokkan Festival units ever since she released. Not someone that a lot of people use, unless of course you like the character. And it's also sad to say that even within this lineup, the blue Kaioken is better in terms of offense and defense, I feel overall, than this unit. Blue Kaioken is a defensive liability, but the offense definitely offsets it. Where if you take care of the unit, you can actually do some pretty lethal things with this guy towards the end of long form events considering if he keeps stacking and stacking and stacking, the active skill, if activated under certain conditions, can single hit kill legendary Goku event levels. So this unit has the potential to do lethal damage on a lot of different events, but you just gotta be careful with him. But he does show up an awful lot. So this unit and the hit, both come back quite often these days on global banners. So while they both have their merits, they're probably the least likely to choose here because they're gonna be coming back a lot, especially since this hit just received his EZA or is about to anyway on global. You don't really have to consider picking him up until maybe you try your shot on the extreme Z banner to actually pull the guy. I say this because at this point, if you are somebody who is trying to save your coins for some of the Dokkan Festival LRs that are coming up, it could actually benefit you to potentially do a summon or two on an extreme Z banner than trying to waste your hard earned coins on a hit right now. Maybe if you use the Pilaf's Trove, buy some tickets, summon that way, you could potentially get the hit on his upcoming EZA banner as opposed to right now. So there is something to consider with this guy. That is, of course, if you don't have him. If you don't even have him, you could always wait until you get him at some point in the future. He's not a must have. Even though his EZA makes him a lot better, he's not an absolute must have. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is really good. As a solo act, he is dominant. He can take on anybody. His stats are definitely proof of that. He can counter. He can definitely do a lot of damage. His active skill is good on Super Battle Road and otherwise. The only issue would probably be his categories. The effectiveness of his categories simply aren't there unless you put a lot of time into this game. 
Giant A Power doesn't have a whole lot of units, neither does Shadow Dragon Saga. But he's not somebody that has to be had right now, again, because of what's coming up. And that is the main focus of this video. Like when I was talking about earlier, the whole thing about value on these discounts, that's kind of the name of the game when it comes to these coin shop purchases too. Like I said, 40 multis are needed to replace a 400 red coin purchase. If you are ready and willing to spend 40 multis, then you're probably not going to be affected by this video too much. But if that sounds like a gargantuan task for you, then that should tell you and alert you to the fact that you probably shouldn't spend it for any of these units. The next banner that should be dropping on Global should be Super Vegeta. And here, we're looking at the return of Broly. Broly himself justifies your coin savings. Bojack is a leader and also supports the category that he leads. Also fits on a number of extremely robust categories, some of the top tier categories in the game. Beerus is a dominant force on certain events, especially against god level units. He also leads Explosion of Anger and Realm of Gods, a very useful category lead for Realm of Gods. Transforming Vegeta eventually will get his EZA because the Transforming Goku and the Frieza receive theirs. He is eventually going to get his. When he does, he will be very good. So if you don't have a single copy, he might be one worth purchasing. Now, even more enticing than this banner, if you don't even care about this banner, don't care about the units, think about the fact that where we are right now. It is December, so we're looking at the Christmas banner, and then of course next month is next year. With the New Year's Step Up banner, there's a lot more to be gained simply from those multis and those summons. Let's look at the Christmas banner. This is what the Tanabata banner looked like for JP. So the Christmas banner on Global should look something like this, especially with the LR Dokkan Festival six-year units coming back for the first time, the Ultra Instinct Goku and the Royal Blue Vegeta. These guys transcend all previously mentioned units so far. If you don't have these guys, or if you want more copies of them, highly recommend you pick these up. They thrive massively on additional super attacks. So if you are able to give them even more additionals from their hidden potential, the amount of critical hits that they could be launching per turn could be astronomical. Nah, that's not true. The amount of damage they can do from all of those additionals are astronomical. But it's not like you could be launching five, six attacks. The three that they do will suffice, which is a lot. So if you guys want these units, I would definitely recommend saving those coins because in just under a month, you'll probably be able to buy them anyway. So these guys now transcend everything else mentioned. And then of course, the New Year's Step Up. This is the New Year's Step Up from last year. <coughs> we had the Step Up for 20 stones for the Super Extreme Class Monotype Lead. Then we had three intermediate steps for Dokkan Festival units or category units. The reason why they're done like this is because they're clustered into little subsections because there are just so many categories. So this is what last year's clusters looked like. This is the monotypes. This is the first set of categories, probably the first generation. Then we're looking at the second gen right here. And then we're looking at the third gen. So obviously this year is going to look a lot more uh, updated with more Dokkan Festival units from this year. And then the fifth and final step is a guaranteed LR. So with this type of level of savings, you could end up potentially pulling two or three copies of the units that you want, and you don't even have to spend any coins to do so. And then once you're done with this, then you can really start looking into what you want to buy on the next possible red coin shop endeavor. So you're definitely your, your best shot here is to save, save, save. Wait to see what this next month has to offer during the holiday season. A lot of good stuff could come back and it would definitely pay to be a patient player. But if you have to choose out of all of these five, I'll probably say Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But that's only if you're making me choose. I don't, I don't want to choose. I would rather save and hopefully you do so too. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about my thoughts on this all? Do you think that we should be saving until we see what's coming up for the, holo the Halloween? The holiday banner and the new year step up or if you had to pick right now are you just gonna pick whatever and buy one if so which one is it let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let youtube know you want to see more of my stuff do it try to reach 50k by christmas i know it's a pretty crazy goal out there but if you guys genuinely enjoy the channel feel free to subscribe i would very much appreciate it but thank you so much for watching stay tuned and always remember to dokkan responsibly